We all know that in a disc prolapse or slip disc, there is severe pain that patients experience from their back going down to their legs. But what is the reason behind this pain? It is widely believed that this pain is because of the disc fragment pressing onto the nerve. But this is not entirely correct. In many experimental studies, it has been seen that the disc fragment causing pressure on the nerve will cause only pressure symptoms and not pain. The pressure symptoms will include numbness or tingling going down our leg or in extreme cases, weakness in the leg. Also, in many occasions we see that the disc prolapse, the disc fragment is not that big, but still patients are experiencing that severe pain going in the leg. So there has to be some other mechanism. That is the reason behind this pain going from our back to our leg. To understand this, you have to understand the structure of a disc. The disc is made up of two components. The inside component is a soft jelly-like substance called nucleus and the outside is a hard fibrous structure called annulus. As we grow, these discs also grow, but the inside jelly remains covered by this outside hard structure until there is a disc prolapse. Once there is a disc prolapse, this jelly-like substance comes in contact with the surrounding for the first time and our body considers this as a foreign object and causes intense chemical reaction at that place. The nerve root which is close to that disc prolapse gets inflamed and irritated because of that severe chemical reaction. Once the nerve root is inflamed, that causes severe pain that goes down in our legs. So this is the reason of that sharp electric shock like pain that we experience in a disc prolapse. Also, this is the reason why most of the treatment of disc prolapse is based on the anti-inflammatory drugs which will reduce this inflammation and reduce the pain. So now you know the real reason why there is pain in a disc prolapse.